Hey everyone, it's Mark, driving into work and thinking about driverless cars. I read a, an article this morning about the fact that driverless cars are getting into more accidents per mile than cars driven by people. How can this be? And the answer is that it's not the driverless cars that are running into things. It's that other drivers, human drivers, are running into driverless cars. Well, why? The reason for that is that driverless cars are apparently programmed to always obey the law, to go 30 in a 30 mile an hour zone, to stay exactly in the lane and not make an unsafe lane change. But if you're a real driver of a car, you know that sometimes you do have to go faster than the speed limit. You know that sometimes you do have to swerve and make an unsafe lane change to avoid something. Well, these cars don't know how to do it. The programmers, when asked about this, said that they didn't want to take any risk. They wanted to drive, or have the, the, the car's algorithm drive it as conservatively as possible. So how does that relate to, to your business, my business, anyone's business? And that's this. That when we all want to take the most conservative approach, the approach without risk, it often ends up causing more damage than we ever intended. You've got to be able to take some risk or you're never going to be able to to conceive of entering into any deal. No risk, no reward is a very true comment. You know, there are medical groups that debate and debate and debate for months over whether they should take action when, like the Google car action is happening to you. It's someone else that's running into you, whether that someone else is a hospital, whether that someone else is some competing medical group, some other party is taking action that is going to affect you. So I know that in your professional life, in your life as a physician, for example, uh, you don't want to take uh, an outlying risk uh, on behalf of your patient that results in loss of license, medical staff discipline, a bunch of bad things being sued for malpractice. But in your business life, you have to take risk. Or, sooner or later, you'll be in a worse accident than you imagined.